I have stronger wrists. Don't ask me. So I'm not tired of the computer. <laughs> When falling in love with a storm cloud, it's always important to remember that you are not the eye of the storm. Despite what passes for calm in your presence, you are not the rain. Though you might feel so connected to your storm cloud, you manifest each tiny particle of their being. You are not thunder. Though your storm cloud may swirl about, you may gather to your sound even do not be fooled. This is only the applause for your violent potential. When you fall in love with a storm cloud, remember, you're not meant to understand this wild daisy of nature's destructive imminence. Simply bear witness. This will be one hell of a show. When the sky lights up like Star Wars opening screen. When galaxies pass through light years of space to shine brilliant angles directly on the cumulus above. Remember, even dust looks heavenly in the right atmosphere. And you are not dust. Do not be blown away so easy. When you fall in love with a storm cloud, they should tell you to batten down your hatches. Stall your tornado strips. Grip the earth like a mother giving birth grips her partner's hand. You are in for a ruckus of rudimentary force. Of course, you know this. You are lightning. You've been brightening up the sky for infinite time, carrying signs of genius through the darkest pitch. When you fall in love with a storm cloud, there's only so much you can do to keep from striking your Cupid's arrow directly into the ground. What have you found with your lightning? Is it frightening to know that your love is dangerous? While often tropical, your desire sparks a fire in the hearts of humanity. When you fall in love with a storm cloud, you have to ask yourself, will you be ready to bury the dead? And how many are you willing to sacrifice? To see your swoon turn monsoon Will you couple in the upper reaches Only to smash this placid planet with your dervish When you strike, dear lightning Who will call for your silver lining? Is it only the clouds who have a good side in the fury? Where do you hurry so, my flashing fervent friend? Has the object of your affection changed so much Left you out of touch without any sense of a stable currency When you fall in love with a storm cloud Remember, they are proud creations of the gods Always at odds with air and water, constantly struggling for some sense of a solid form. They will reject your enlightenment eventually and drift towards their next target. And you are not hail, though your center might feel like ice. Know this, <coughs> loving a storm cloud is a surefire way to set your world to ruin. But if you are sharp, bright, and determined, you will light up someone's life, dear lightning. When you fall in love with a storm cloud, remember, you are not the eye of the storm. You are the electric needle threading through like a sliver of sunshine searching for some place between heaven and earth that you can call home. Woo! Woo! That was freaking awesome. How are you doing, everybody? Yeah. Woo! How did you feel about that? Put your scores up in three, two, one. Audience. Let these judges know how you feel about a 7.8. Yeah. Good. That's how about an 8.3? Better. About right. an 8.5? Yeah. 8.9? Yeah. Yeah. And a 9.0. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of poets, you got the points. You get the time. You get the time. Keep your noise going for the next slammer, Thomas Hode.